Okay, algebra students, we are still graphing equations um, in standard form by finding key attributes, vertex, axis of symmetry. Today's something new. We're going to bring in the zeros and the y-intercept. Again, standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Equations must equal zero. Um, and key attributes of a parabola. When we're graphing, let's see, let's see, we'll make one upside down today. This would be a negative x squared term. Vertex, this vertex would be a maximum because it's the high point of the graph. Today's lesson, we're focusing on these x-intercepts, also known as zeros, and some other words. Um, remember, axis of symmetry right through the center, E-T-R-Y. When we write the axis of symmetry, it's an x equals equation. Vertex is an ordered pair, zeros are ordered pairs. The only thing I'm missing, I think, is the y-intercept, also listed as an ordered pair. Now, methods that we've used in the past for finding x-intercepts include factoring. And when factoring's easy, that's the way to go. Um, sometimes we use the Ma chart for a trinomial. Sometimes we can just pull out a GCF. Uh, and sometimes we might have sum and difference of squares. Perfect squares. Um, another way we might find zeros is using the quadratic formula. Now remember, factoring doesn't always work. Quadratic formula always works if indeed we have zeros. There are times we don't have zeros. But there's times quadratic formula will get you an answer when factoring won't. Um, and then the other one we used was the square root method. Again, keep in mind, you cannot have an x to the first power term. Otherwise, that totally gets messed up. But if you have, if you have like an x squared with a perfect square, that's an easy way to go. Add 36. Square root both sides. Don't forget, you get two solutions, and those would be your x-intercepts. All right, so let's try to graph our first example. Does the parabola open up or down? It's positive. I always tell my kids if it's a positive leading term, it's a happy parabola with a smiley face. The vertex down here would be a min. Next, we're going to find the axis of symmetry. I'll review from yesterday. We do negative b over 2a. B here is a negative 6, all over 2 times 1. So we're going to get a positive 6 over 2, and we'll get 3. So my axis of symmetry is x equals 3. We can go ahead and graph that real quick. Imaginary dotted line through the center of our parabola. Now to find the vertex, we use the x, equal th x equals 3 from the axis of symmetry and try to solve our equation for y. So we will have 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 5 instead of equals 0, it equals y. We'll have 9 minus 18 plus 5 equals y. 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 5. y eventually will equal negative 4. So my vertex is 3, negative 4. So we're going to go out 1, 2, 3, down 4, and plot our point, and we'll have a parabola that, o that opens up. Okay. Now, yesterday we jumped right to the y-intercept. Today we're going to look for zeros first. And how we're going to look for zeros, let's check factoring first and see if factoring would work. It's a trinomial. If I were to set up the mod chart, I'm looking for what multiplies to 5 and adds to negative 6. Oops, that should say adds a to negative 6. Multiplies to 5. The only factors I could think of are 5 and 1. If I made them both negative, that would work. Add them, you get a negative value. Multiply them, you get a positive value. So unfoil or factor that trinomial. We have x's in front. We have minus 5, minus 1, set it equal to 0. When we solve the first factor, we'll add 5 to the other side. We get a positive 5. When we solve the second factor, for x I guess I should say, we add 1 to both sides. We get x equals 1. Okay, ordered pairs for these would just be 5 comma 0 because 
y was 0, we set our equation equal to 0, and 1 comma 0. So graphing those, I have an x-intercept, or a 0, here at 1, and I have another one at 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now notice again, these points are symmetrical um, to that axis of symmetry, and it helps us graph our parabola. Now think back, in step A, we said that our parabola opened up. This is our vertex down here. Now I really don't need to find my y-intercept, um, but just as a check, it's not a bad idea. So if I let x equal 0, remember what happens, all your x terms drop out. So you have 0 squared minus 6 times 0 plus 5 equals y. So your ordered pair for your y-intercept is 0, 5. And I guess we could make it cross right there. All right, that's pretty much all there is to it when we bring in the additional step of finding the zeros. And sometimes it's easier to graph it this way, sometimes it's not. It just depends on the numbers you're given or the equation you're given. Okay, let's take a look at number two. Oh, first thing wrong with it is does the equation does not equal zero. So we're going to take 4x and move it to the other side by subtracting it. Note that'll be your middle term, so you'll have x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. It's positive out in front, so your parabola, uh, parabola will open upward, and your vertex will be a minimum, because it's a bottom point. To find the axis of symmetry, same old stuff, x equals negative b over 2a. b in this case is a negative 4, so we have a double negative. a is 1, so we get 8 over 2, and we get 4. So my axis of symmetry is x equals 4. Probably doesn't hurt to sketch it out real quick. Oh. Back it up, back it up. Sorry guys. If you caught me, good job. A double negative on 4 would be a positive 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. There we go. Axis of symmetry is 2. Alright, so moving on over. Graph that real quick. Imaginary line. So we dot it at x equals 2. Again, that's your axis of symmetry. Alright, to find the vertex, we're going to use that point, plug it into the equation. So we're going to have 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 7 equals y. 2 squared gives me 4. A negative times a positive will give me a negative 8 plus 7. Um, let's try to mental math this a little. 4 minus 8 would give me a negative 4 plus 7 equals y. Eventually we'll get y is equal to 3. But remember, your vertex is an ordered pair, so when x was 2, y is 3. So we go up 2 and up 3 and plot your point, and that's your vertex. Okay, now we're going to look for zeros. And looking ahead, I was really hoping this one would factor, but I can't think of anything that can multiply to 7 and add to negative 4. The only factors of 7 are 7 and 1. That can't get me to the negative 4. So dun 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 dun. We've got to do quadratic formula. Identifying our, our letters, A is 1, B is negative 4, C is 7. So we do quadratic formula, negative, B, I'll have a double negative there, plus or minus the square root of B squared. Some of you guys still aren't using your parentheses. Use your parentheses. We have to have negative 4 squared minus 4 times A times C, all over 2A, all over 2A. Okay, double negative on 4, change it to a positive 4, plus minus. 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times positive 1 times positive 7 gives me a negative 28. And looking ahead, I see that's going to cause me trouble. So, what will I get under my radical? I will be trying to take the square root of a negative number. Um, I think it would be negative 12. I can't do that. So I get a non-real answer here. And if you think about it, it makes sense. If this is the vertex, and my vertex is a minimum, and my parabola opens upward, it does not cross the x-axis. So I probably just did all that work for nothing, but it's always good to double check to make sure you know what's going on with these things. 
All right, so now I really do need the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we let x equals 0. Back to the equation that we modified. So I have 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 7 equals 0. y equals 7. So coming on to graph my y-intercept, doesn't hurt to write the ordered pair there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so I have my vertex, I have my y-intercept, my parabola opens up. I connect the dots, and then I create another dot. I am two units away from the axis of symmetry, so I'm going to go two units out in the other direction because of that whole symmetrical quality that parabolas have. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so graphing didn't help us there. Trying to find zeros did not help us there. We still had to go back to the y-intercept. Okay, looking at equation number three. Again, another one that is not in standard form. So we have to bring over the one, add it to both sides. We get x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. My leading coefficient is going to be positive, so I have a happy parabola, and I have a minimum find my axis of symmetry, we let x equal negative b over 2a, b is a negative 2, so I have minus a negative 2, all over 2 times 1, double negative on my 2 gives me 2, over 2, I will get x equals 1. So my axis of symmetry is at x equals 1. See why we spent all that time graphing vertical lines? Now we'll take that and try to find our vertex, let x equal 1 solve for y. Okay, into this equation, into this equation I have 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 1. Set that equal to y. Square your 1, subtract 2 plus 1 equals y. Now 1 minus 2 gives me a negative 1 plus 1, and these two will cancel each other out, so I'll get y equals 0. So your ordered pair for your vertex value will be 1 comma 0. So go over to 1, plot your point. Now I see something that doesn't really look um, very favorable for graphing. This is my vertex. It'll also be my x-intercept, which means I will need different points to try to plot. Um, when I look at this equation right here and I try to find my zeros, I see that this one is factorable. When you put it into the mod chart, you're trying to multiply to 1, add to negative 2. Factors that multiply to 1 are 1 and 1, and if you make them both negative, you'll get your positive 1. If you add them together, you'll get your negative 2. So when you break it up, you get x minus 1, x minus 1, and when you set those factors equal to 0, you get x equals a positive 1. And we could do it for the second one, but we're going to end up with the same answer again. Okay, so there you go. Your x-intercepts are 1, 0 and 1, 0. Again, we already have that because it was our vertex. So it's not helping us graph this parabola whatsoever. So let's try the y-intercept. Hopefully that'll help. We'll let x equal 0. Solve for y. Back to this equation. I've got 0 squared minus 2 times 0 plus 1. Let it equal y. Remember, we like these because the zeros drop out. So we have 1 equals y. So when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 0, y is 1. All right, I've got two points. If I connect them, I want my parabola going upward. Now what I can do is reflect my parabola in the other direction, bring this point over, create another point, and connect my dots. Okay, so I have my axis of symmetry at x equals 1. I have my vertex, oh boy, at 1, 0, which is also the same as my x-intercepts on this one. I have a y-intercept at 0, 1, and then I use that point to reflect to the other side and get a second point so then I can graph my entire parabola. And always go back and check it from the very beginning. Was it supposed to open up? Yes, it was. 
Okay, save the U-Tries for tomorrow, and I will see you tomorrow in class.